weekend, an accident at Famoso Raceway killing a Wichita drag racer who is nationally known in the racing community. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Tim Callahan. 50 year old Brett Henry died at Kern Medical Sunday. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores spoke with his family and joins us now in the live center with more. Alyssa. Tim Brett Henry was a father. He was a husband and in this Facebook post, his son Wyatt describes him as his best friend and goes on to describe the passion that they both shared. Brett Henry has raced drag cars his entire life. It's a passion he passed down to his son Wyatt, who stands behind his dad's car every time he goes down the track. The Henry family says the annual Hot Rod reunion in Bakersfield was Brett's favorite race, this year ending tragically. Wyatt says his dad crossed the finish line at the Moso Raceway on Saturday, shut the car off, then suddenly Wyatt heard the motor running again. Wyatt was on the track and speculates the car's throttle got stuck open and Brett lost control, hitting a wall at over 220 miles per hour. Wyatt says he was cut out of his car and transported to a local hospital for surgery Saturday night. Brett died on Sunday. Brett also leaves behind two daughters, Crystal and Faith, and his wife, Laura. They say they will remember him as someone who never gave up, always showed endurance, and was an inspiration to many. And the Henry family has a lot of support back in Wichita, Kansas. They shared this picture with us. Neighbors, family, and friends gathered in their front yard for prayer over the weekend. Reporting in studio, Alyssa Flores, 23 ABC. Alyssa, thanks for that. New at 11 tonight, a candidate running against Congressman Kevin McCarthy for the 